Ever wondered when and how to calculate your descent? Well, this video will explain how to do this. How to calculate your descent. Step 1. To start, your first equation is to find out what your vertical speed is to descend. Your equation will be gs, which is your ground speed, divided by 2 times 10. So suppose your ground speed is 450 knots. You're going to divide that by 2, which equals 225. Times that by 10, which equals 2,250 feet per minute. Step 2. Next, you would need to find the time needed to reach your desired altitude. So first, let's do the equation. Altitude divided by your vertical speed. Now, let's leave that to the first side just for a minute. Suppose you are at 20,000 feet. And you want to go to 5,000 feet. You're going to subtract that, and your answer should be 15,000 feet. Now, do not use 20,000 nor 5,000 in your altitude equation. Use the 15,000. So, once again, the equation is altitude divided by Vs. So, let's fit that in to 15,000 divided by your Vs. So, suppose your Vs is... 2,250. You're going to divide that, and your answer should be 6.6. .6. So in minutes, that would be about 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Step 3. After, you will need to find your distance in nautical miles to start descending. Your equation will be minutes times ground speed divided by 60. So, if you wanted to put that in perspective, your minutes would be 6.6 .6 times 450 divided by 60, which is equal to 49.5 nautical miles. So basically, you would have to start descending 49.5 nautical miles in order to reach your destination safely. Now let's review all of the steps one by one. Step one. This is to find your vertical speed to start descending. The equation is gs divided by 2 times 10. So suppose that's going to be 615 divided by 2, which is 307.5, times 10, which is 3,075 feet per minute. Step 2. Is time needed to reach your desired altitude? So that's altitude divided by vertical speed. Now, if you're at 32,000 feet, and you want to go to 2,500 feet, you will subtract. You should get 29,000 feet. My fault, 29,500 feet. After that, you're going to divide that by your vertical speed, which is 3,075. You will get approximately 10. So convert that to 10 minutes. Finally, step 3. Distance in nautical miles to start descending. Your equation will be minutes times your ground speed divided by 60. If your minutes are 
10, and your ground weight is 615. You're going to divide that by 60, and you should get 102.5. So that right there is the nautical miles you would need to start descending. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and or dislike below.